story, mud African time. So some time ago, I have expressed to my followers to please send me stories, whether it be a crazy work story, crazy sibling story, family story, crazy sex story, crazy date story, send it my way. I may not be able to get to all of them. So if you don't hear me reciting your story or recreating your story, I'm not ignoring it. I just haven't gotten to it because there has been quite an influx, okay? And and at this point, it's just a just a blind reach, okay? So, but send them, send them, send them, send them. Because I get really excited. So anyways, now, fast forward just to this real quick disclaimer. There are a number of portions of this story that has been changed, rearranged. I have injected my creative ability of storytelling to recreate the story. However, it is based on true events. Okay. All right, let us begin. So, there's a real estate agent. His name is Michael. Michael is this real estate agent's name. Michael has been doing real estate for years. And what he gets really excited about is the part where he says, I know that things aren't looking super good on your end, but I promise that we will be able to get you in a home by XYZ time. Super good guy, super honest, really upfront, just lets them know how long it's gonna take, what they need to do, you know, just a, just a real nice do-gooder, okay? Okay. So there was this one client that he was working with. Let me just give you guys an idea. Michael is this upstanding citizen. He wears glasses. He has a, a fresh cut shape up. He looks professional. The individual that he's working with is the complete opposite. Complete opposite. All right. Just just keep that in mind. Picture whatever the complete opposite looks like to you, okay? That is his client. And we will call his client Rodney, okay? Rodney. So Rodney and Michael have a phone conversation for the first time, and Michael says to him, when is a good time for us to really dive in and go into detail? I'm gonna need at least an hour of your time. Are you buying a home with someone else? Is it just you? Yaga da 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 And so Rodney says, you know what? I get off work at this time, my guy. You know, why don't you, 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 you give me a call back at this time on the dot. Michael says, thank you, Rodney. I'll give you a call back. The time comes. And Michael gives Rodney a call. There's no answer. He leaves a message, but then he says, you know what? Let me just give it about 10 to 15 minutes because Rodney made it abundantly clear. I need you to call me at this time. So he gives it another few minutes and he calls back. Rodney answers the phone. And so Rodney says, hey man, you know, I just, I'm trying to pleasure my girl, bro, and, and you keep blowing up my phone. Sir. Sir. So Michael is a little shocked and now he's feeling awkward and so he feels the need to reiterate, you know, I'm just doing my job. You know, I do believe that we did have an appointment at this time and you seemed pretty adamant on having me call at this time so that's what I'm doing buddy that's what I'm doing but you know what you uh, you you do you you handle that business you you know uh, yeah and so Rodney's like no don't even worry about it it's cool it's cool it's cool let's just come on come on you know I'm a and then he hears <laughs> He hears Rodney tell his woman to just put her underwear back on because it's gonna be a minute. So Michael offers again 
to terminate the conversation and just resume at another date and time and we'll just put this whole experience behind us. My bad. Pause, my light just came off. Hold on one second. Okay. Okay. So Rodney's like, no, 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 man. You already on the phone. The moment's already gone. Let's just go ahead and get this going, man. Let's just go ahead and get this going. So I hope I said Rodney said that. Michael is the real estate agent. Rodney said, don't even worry about it. The moment is gone. Sometimes I get real mixed up between the names since I'm making these names up. Anyways, so Michael proceeds with the questions. He is trying to put the awkwardness behind him and he says, okay, um, all right, let's just... Let's just go ahead and get started. So Michael begins to ask him questions and you know, let's say that the first set of questions are, do you know what your credit score is looking like? Do you have a goal? Do you have a time frame in mind? Just, you know, yada, yada, da. And so Michael hears a woman's voice in the background whom he's obviously assuming is the woman's voice, his, his, his girlfriend's, his partner's voice, Rodney's partner's voice and Rodney cuts Michael off to answer his girl and then he gets back on the phone and he says to Michael my girl thinks that your voice is sexy she's even more turned on now and so <laughs> Michael says um yeah, man, uh, thanks. It's the first time I've ever gotten that compliment, but thanks. Hey, man, listen, if you guys need a moment, you know, I really don't mind rescheduling. Michael makes another attempt to back on out of this increasingly awkward conversation. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I probably would have just went ahead and hung up the phone, but I think that Michael was thinking about this, this sale and Rodney's bank accounts and how things are actually looking pretty good for him to get the commission off of this new home sale. You know what I'm saying? So let's get back into the story. So Michael offers again to resume the conversation at another date and time after the comment of Rodney's woman thinking that his voice is sexy. Rodney declines. He says, nah, my guy, don't even worry about it. Don't worry about it. We just, we think your voice is sexy. We think your voice is sexy. Okay. So Michael says, thank you again and proceeds with the questions. Goes further. <laughs> he says, okay, so uh, let's say he says, well, what do you think your credit score is looking like? And then, um, Rodney answers the question. Let's say that he says, right now my credit score is probably at like a 680 and I'd really like to get it up to like a 720. Michael says something along the lines of, you know, that's really doable. 680 is actually not bad for what we're looking for and what we're trying to do and you know, your income. Da 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 da. The cutoff happens again. Okay? Rodney's girl, who will have to name at this point, Jasmine. Jasmine says something else and Michael can't really make it out. So Rodney gets back on the phone and he says, what do you say we finish this conference in person? So Michael says, what, um, why the sudden change of heart? Is there something about the conversation that we're having right now over the phone that you don't feel like is meeting your needs? Rodney says, well, my girl is really turned on and she wants to meet you. What? Okay. Um so Michael, very uncomfortable, again, says, you know, uh, Rodney, you, can you tell your, your, your girlfriend that I'm flattered 
but I do believe that it's probably better for us to continue this conversation over the phone. And then as we progress in this process, we can talk about meeting in person, maybe at a Starbucks, a coffee shop, a bookstore, you know, a place where things are relatively, um, the setting is set up for business meetings. So Rodney cuts right to the chase and he's like, nah, 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 my guy, nah, buddy. I'm, I'm, we want to meet to talk about other things. My girl, you know, this is her first time experiencing what she's experiencing just by hearing somebody's voice. Matter of fact, what time do you get off? Michael said, I think we should probably end this conversation. I think I just called it a bad time and the two of you are just real hot and bothered. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and hang up and um, you guys have a wonderful evening. Rodney extends an invitation again. Michael hangs up the phone. Rodney then proceeds to call him back twice before Michael answers the phone, which as I was reading this story, y'all, I was like, my guy, what? It, was the sale really that important? Because I'm uncomfortable reading this story. Anyways, 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 back to the story. So Michael answers the phone and Rodney was like, hey man, look, we ain't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. You know, I still wanna buy a house and everything, but you know, like we, we, we definitely think it's something special about you. <laughs> So Michael declines the offer again, hangs up the phone. He, um, he does, fast forward a few months, end up selling them a house without selling his goodies. Without selling his goodies. Anyways, 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 these are the stories that are shared with me and I'm so glad, I'm so happy. It excites me to be able to take them and turn them into an original story with some pretty intense events. Thank you for watching, thank you for joining. Subscribe, hit the like button. Tell your friends, tell your mother, tell your father, tell your cousin, your grandmother. Thank you. <laughs>